Hello everybody and welcome back to the JBit 2 and I bring some very exciting news. Yesterday the Fold Music returned with a brand new Ninjago song celebrating the 10th anniversary and I must say what a treat. We haven't got a Fold song for Ninjago since Master of the Mountain nearly a year ago or over a year ago I guess. Well we did get that Christmas song as well but you know what I mean. It's very exciting seeing them return to Ninjago. It was sad not seeing a whip for the island or a seabound. Even though I thought a song in the French The Island trailer was the new whip, which is a pretty infamous video on my channel now, but come on guys, I was excited, okay? In that time they'd been working on their own music, releasing their own songs, separate from Ninjago, which sounds great if you haven't listened to them, which I recommend you do. I wasn't expecting the fold to return to Ninjago at all anymore, because it seemed like they were done with it and were just trying to distance themselves from the LEGO Ninjago brand. However, it wouldn't have been the 10th anniversary of Ninjago without some new fold music, as they really are a staple of Ninjago over the past 10 years. So I'm incredibly excited and happy to say that they've released a brand new song to celebrate those first 10 years of Ninjago. The song is called 10 for Ninjago and was actually not uploaded to the fold but was actually uploaded to a channel I completely forgot I was even subscribed to, Ninjago Music. This channel hasn't had anything posted on it in 6 years which is probably why I didn't remember I was subscribed to it. So I encourage you all to go view it, it's honestly a really good song. And like I said before, it covers the first 10 years of Ninjago. So it's packed full of nostalgia, and not just in the lyrics. Surrounding the lyrics and the images on screen, it's surrounded by loads of Ninjago sets, cards and memorabilia from all across Ninjago over the past 10 years. And it has more references from season 11 onwards, which doesn't really reference in the song that much. I've rewatched this multiple times, and each time I found something new. So for this video I thought I'd go over some of the references I can see, but first go listen to the song linked in description if you haven't already, and then return so we can go through all the nostalgic references together. And let me know which one of these is your favourite. I'm going to analyse this through the screenshots that I've taken so I've probably missed out a bunch of stuff but you'll need to let me know. First up we can see a bunch of classic Ninjago spinners and the original card game that came with it. Those were so good, I wish they'd bring them back in some way, or I hope they will one day. There's even this build here, which you may be confused about what this is, but it's actually one of the classic brick built card holders. They also had one for the Serpentine too, and I believe if I remember this correctly, that Wu card next to it is the one which came with this set. For figures on the screen we can see the classic Jay, Cole, Kai and Zane and Garmadol all in their pilot's attire. And not to forget the massive golden weapons which you'll see a bunch of later on throughout this music video. But on screen right now we can see clearly the Shurikens of Ice and the Sword of Fire. Moving on, a lot of the cards, spinners and pieces carry over, and I'll mention some of the newer ones like classic Green Ninja Lloyd. Ah, remember when the Green Ninja was a mystery? Good times. There's also a Skelly down there too. We can see another look at the Sword of Fire and hints of Wu's staff. But more excitingly is Wu's original teapot and the sugar cubes from when he was training Kai in the first ever episodes. That's such a deep dive, I love that. On the next part we can see a little glimpse at the Ninjago movie Dragon Mech, and staying on the movie note, we can see Casual J in the corner there. Sticking with the minifigures, we can also see Season 5 Nia, Season 8 Harumi, and I believe that's Season 3 Samurai X in the corner there? We can also see the amazing community made art of the pilots which was included in the DTC garden set. And up top we can see the Anachondri sword. On the top we can see the Epic Battle Kai set, which I think is the newest thing in this video, but let me know otherwise. And finally in the bottom we can see hashtag B Ninja, which was the hashtag going around during season 8 on all the marketing, but I think they're bringing it back, I think I can remember. So this either could be from season 8 or this could be from Seabound. On the next image there's a massive box of B Ninja written on it, which I believe was sent out as promotional kits during the promotion of season 8. Speaking of, the DVD of season 8 sits in the corner, surrounded by the backs of the trading cards. At the top we can see the complete Fold album, which came out a couple of years ago, which included all the Fold Ninjago songs up to that point. And next to it we can see a small glimpse of the LEGO Ninjago movie poster, with the postman and the island coal. Also pixels in the corner there. Big page coming up as we can see the opened album with all the signatures, which was a version that you could pay extra for. The Brickhead Samurai X is chilling there next to it, and what I believe is meant to be Master Chen's Noodles fortune cookie, and underneath that is Hero Coal, and up in the corner is also Season 5 Zane. There's also a Prime Empire J arcade cabinet on top of a Dark Island trilogy book, but most interestingly, under the ninja hat we can see a Starfarer comic. Is this something you could buy because I'd really want it? On the next image we can see a lot of minifigures. We got Legacy Anachondri Cult member, which does have a name like Razor or something like that but I can't remember, and a Legacy Ghost. Tournament Cole, Lloyd, and Hunted Kai, and a bizarre half movie, half March of the Oni Zane. There's also a Spinjitzy Flyer, Zippy, and the Jaywalker One. There's also some interesting pieces like the Board Game Spinner and Jade Blades, and a foil pack of Cole from the European Ninjago magazine. Next we have a big plush movie Lloyd, Lloyd's Car, Golden Lloyd Brickhead, Season 5 and Season 2 Lloyd, and Lloyd's Titan Mech, a very Lloyd page. On the next bit we have the Hunted Toys R Us Booktober pack, 
I used to love those, rest in peace. There's Tournament J and Legacy Nia. Legends J and Nia couple are also up in the corner. We also have Legacy J, Golden Legacy J, Season 5 J, Skybound DVD, Samurai X, and Season 1 Nia. A very j image. And moving on to a very cool image, we have the blades from Master... We have the blades from Master of the... We have the blades from... We have the swords from Master of the Mountain, Spinjitsu Burst Coal Set, and hints of his scythe and hammer. A bunch of coal minifigures, and King Vangelis on the sword. There's also a Wu image with his hat and the Golden Legacy version of him. Maybe there's an image or a page for all the ninja, which maybe I didn't notice on the seventh time viewing. <laughs> okay, so now going forward with the song, there's a bunch of stuff we've already seen, mixed in with a bunch of stuff we haven't seen, like the movie bounty and the book of Spinjitsu and more. I encourage you to go find them all, but I'll leave it there for now and I've only scratched the surface. Like I said, go watch it and tell me all the stuff that I missed, and tell me what your favourite parts of it was, and did you enjoy the song? Let me know in the comments down below, and while you're down there, why not like and subscribe, and share with fellow Ninjago community members. Also you can join my Discord where we can discuss Ninjago further, and you can get updates on the channel. You can also follow my social medias which are all linked in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video, take it easy guys, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!